Okay, welcome. We're going to go ahead and get started this morning on this uh, wonderful, humid in Kansas and the Midwest uh, Monday morning. Uh, those of you that are in the Midwest, I don't know if anywhere else got it. If you were working outside this weekend, you probably noticed it was a little hotter than others. Uh, either that or it might be just me, uh, but I was definitely hot. But thank you for attending today. Uh, we're, we've got some exciting uh, information coming to us from Mr. Tony Zager here in a moment with National Western Life. Uh, on their single premium life product, which uh, is one of, uh, one of the big talk of the towns here when it comes to single premium life, and you'll see why here when he's done with his material this morning. Um, but we do appreciate you joining the appreciate you joining the webinar this morning. My name is Justin Ford. I am a life insurance sales director here at uh, IMS, and I'm here to help you guide through uh, a little bit uh, more about IMS when we start out. So uh, the audience we have today is a little diverse. We have uh, in existing producers uh, that do business with us appreciate your uh, patronage over the years and uh, look forward to working with you more we also have some that may be taking a look at us for the first time um, for those who have just joined us and uh, want to thank you for coming in as well also let you know that the content from this webinar will be recorded uh, is being recorded and will be put on our YouTube site uh, if you need a link to that or if you just search uh, I'm in the uh, Insurance Agency Marketing Services in, in uh, YouTube, you'll be able to get access to that. So we're going to start off with uh, what I like to talk about on Monday, which is money. Uh, we're going to talk about a few different ways we can help you make even more money this year in addition to the revenue you receive from writing production with us and with National uh, Western Life. Uh, the first off, uh, first thing I'd like to address or talk about here is our new producer builders program. Uh, this is uh, meant as an incentive to help you grow your production also help jumpstart your relationship uh, growing that production through IMS. So if you've just started with us or you're an existing producer, you have access to um, different things with us here. If you're an existing producer, we have a marketing reimbursement account. Uh, give a call to your primary contact or relationship here at IMS, whether that be on the annuity or life and long-term care side of the house, and they can tell you more if you're an existing writer. This is for new producers. Uh, during that first, we found in our practice very similar to on the retail front, the beginning uh, days, months, hours with a client, years uh, are crucial. And part of that is we're trying to figure out to know if, uh, know who each of each other are and what roles we play. And when it comes to working with an IMO, over the years I've uh, learned here that doing business and watching that first case, those first couple cases go through, is the best indicator and the best way to actually get to know um, an IMO and, and work through partnership is until you the rubber meets the road, you're not there. So we'd like to incentivize you during that first 180 days to put some money back in your pocket. The way this works, and at the end, I'll go ahead and uh, uh, ask your marketer here if you'd like a copy of this. Let us know if you have interest in this program, if you did just start with us, so we can uh, earmark resources your way. But baseline, when you submit production with us, you're going to get an opportunity to earn materials that go back into your practice to help grow your business uh, and or cash, uh, possibly uh, even a toy here with the iPad. So as an example, a toy or business tool, rather. Um, at the $100,000 level, this is premium. So for $100,000 of submitted paid annuity business uh, during your first 180 days with IME, you're going to have access to or have the, and that, that come, equates to $10,000 roughly in target premium. Single premium life accounts for a little bit more, so it'd be a little bit less than premium to get to this level. But your uh, first option would be a 1,500-piece postcard mailing to existing prospects or a list of your choice uh, with uh, uh, future prospects, or an iPad, or $750 in cash, or pre-formatted emails, a marketing uh, analysis, and what we call a corporate identity, pa identity package, which is a complete branding package. Pre-formatted emails, of course, to your existing clients um, and to your database uh, that we can go ahead and create them for you so you've got a nice look. At the 250000 level, or 25000 in life target premium, the number goes up to 3000 on the mailing, $2,000 straight for marketing reimbursement. You may have a program, or you probably likely do, a system that works well for you in your practice to bring people into your prospecting funnel and relationship uh, growing system there. And we're going to put money towards that. $1,500 and a Visa gift card is another option. Or we can go down to the uh, newspaper ad, a marketing collateral, uh, which uh, involves a micro site as well for your website, all the way up to the million dollar level, where we get into uh, customized video presentations, dinner workshop being paid for. If you 
are coming on board with this new and none of these items from a marketing standpoint fit the current prospecting you're doing, we're also uh, uh, have wiggle room on that as well because the intent of the program is more important than actual the details. The intent of the program is to help you uh, grow and write your first cases with us as soon as possible so we can get uh, on to the next level, which is helping you grow even further. So any marketing program that you have is open to discussion. When you hit one of these levels, just let us know, and we'd love to sit down with you and see what we can do to help. So that's one of the ways we can help and uh, get you some extra cash on this Monday morning. The second way would be uh, you've probably been a part of this. If, if you are new with us, it's very likely uh, that you are re or referred to us or introduced to us from one of our existing producers. Uh, much like your practice, this is a, a preferred way and, and one of the best ways from a trust, uh, if you look at level of trust on a spectrum, um, you uh, the higher trust levels of spectrum are a little uh, a more of an opportunity. And if you're coming to us from a referred producer, typically you already have a better idea of, uh, of what you're looking for, how uh, we may be able to assist you, et cetera. But in either case, welcome aboard either way. If you do refer someone to us, we are going to pay you for it. And this comes out of our pocket. It does not come out of the producer that you're referring pocket. Um, and the way, the first way we do that is we're going to give you a, a one-time bonus of $50 when we reach out to your uh, the agent you refer. And once we get them contracted, we'll do all the work uh, on that $50 one-time bonus when they turn their contracts in. And then after that, we're going to pay you basis points on their production for the life of their relationship with IMES. Again, that comes out of our pocket, not yours or theirs. And so by referring them in, you'll get... Uh, the numbers here on the screen for the production that they write. Uh, again, if you have interest in this program, let us know. Definitely, if you have someone you're referring in, because we have a way of indicating it in our internal system to make sure that we get you paid out and accounting uh, can get you the, the compensation. And then also, uh, and, and just as important, if not more, um, let us know if you do have a referred, uh, referred producer, because we'd like to, one, thank you, but then two, uh, start that relationship off uh, with an onboarding process that, uh, that was similar to the one in which you went through, so that everything's consistent and uh, they get what they need as well. So uh, in addition to that, when we take a look at it here, we've got marketing reimbursement. I mentioned this earlier. So for those of you that are already with us, we pay $100 of marketing reimbursement money per 100,000 in indexed annuity premium and $200 per 100,000 in single premium life, like the contract we're gonna be talking about today, National Western Life. Tony will be happy about that. We double it up there. $200 per 10,000 of target premium for life insurance. So that's your index universal life uh, you know, type of product, uh, whole life, et cetera. When we look at target premium, 200 per 10,000. So another way we can get you paid referring people in. We appreciate it if, uh, if you've referred others already. We'd like to take care of you on both sides and get you paid. So once you do come in or your referred producer comes in, uh, that we appreciate working with. One of IAM's uh, leading uh, indicators or leading skills, if you will, uh, selling point as an organization, as an IMO, leading differentiator is our back office support. And this becomes extremely important, as you can imagine, uh, for you and your staff as you're processing business. Um, one of the things that we excel at, all the way down to the way we handle our incoming phone calls, if you've noticed, we do not have direct lines or voicemails. And the reason for that is, our commitment to service uh, has led us to uh, believe that you would rather uh, speak with a live person. And our advisors have shared with us this is, uh, countless times this is a benefit. When you reach out to us, you're gonna get a live person on the phone to be able to get you an answer, even if the person you're calling back is not uh, is on the other line. So we strive to pick up that phone call within, we have a what we call a two ring guarantee, which is uh, industry uh, well, well above industry average. So within two rings, we strive to get you on that second ring. Uh, sometimes it goes to three, uh, but uh, that is our strive from a service standpoint. In addition to helping you work smarter and not harder, uh, we offer full case design assistance. As an example, I'm a uh, registered RICP, Retirement Income Certified Professional with the American College. And when we're working with a case, though I may be working with you on a life insurance or single premium life case, at the end of the day, that's your that's your client, that's your prospect, that's their overall view. And there's going to be portions of that revenue that we don't see if you're in the securities industry or what have you. 
but at the end of the day, it's a retiree or a client. And anything we can do from a case design standpoint um, to help you above and beyond just a quote, uh, we're here to do that. So if you are working on income planning cases or estate planning, premium finance, um, or just a, a simple term case, give us a call. And our, our goal is to strive and get you more revenue and get the client exactly what they need with the appropriate carrier. Um, forms, whether it's night or day, uh, you have access to them on our website, imsinc.com, which we'll talk about here shortly. You can also reach out to our staff members, of course, and get those forms. We want to give you access to requesting them from us and then also accessing them yourself, just in case uh, you prefer to do that or need to. Uh, submission to commission support. So from the moment you submit a life insurance, annuity, long-term care insurance, disability uh, application, we're going to be working on that case with our case management team all the way through the commission getting paid out to you. So and as those of you that work with us already know, uh, we've got uh, individuals in that team that uh, excel and can help from the submission and the commission payout of your, your cases. Uh, life and annuity quotes, uh, all the way on the annuity side, we talked about life a little bit. You can run term insurance and guaranteed universal life quotes directly from our website and even click a button at the simple click of a button, uh, submit the application on those products as well. When it comes to the single premium life, like what Tony's going to be referring to today uh, or talking about, we do uh, have access to WinFlex. For those of you that use WinFlex, if you're writing advisor with us, we can get that turned on so you can quote those as well or simply reach out to your case design specialist for life and annuity and we can help. When it comes to the annuity on our website, not only do we have access to taking a look or you have access to taking a look at the top payouts on multi-year guaranteed annuities, we also have access to being able to run a report that you can go in and see each company that offers a living income benefit rider, how that income benefit rider would stack up against all the other competitors in, in the form of uh, income payout as an example. So we're talking about income guaranteed payout. You'll be able to actually see with your client's specifics, age and when they want to start income distributions, what that rider would pay out and the specs uh, beyond that so that you're, you're doing your due diligence. It's something we run internally when we do an income case and uh, you have access to it as well. Uh, in addition to that, our uh, sales department uh, top experts in our field, uh, again, uh, both life and annuities. We do long-term care insurance and disability as well. And those are areas that we uh, we are adequately uh, staffed here to help you and would love to work with you on those lines of business if they are in your practice currently. Um, paperless contracting, you also, to be able to get licensed, uh, those of you today that are going to be licensing with National Western Life, we, have, uh, we use a system here uh, that you're familiar with, likely Insurance Bay to where we uh, can get you contracted with the push of a button and uh, get you set up to write that business in your state without having to fill out a bunch of paperwork, et cetera, as we move forward. So if you have any questions about what we talked about here on back office support, just reach out to us after the meeting. My staff uh, will be reaching out to you just to loop, uh, loop around and make sure that we get you everything from today's event. But if you haven't heard from them just yet, feel free to reach out to us as well. When it comes to technology in our website and back to the submission of business, um, we utilize Firelight as well as iGo for the typical the uh, life insurance side. So Firelight is mostly our submission or online or e-application for the annuity side of the house. There are a handful of insurance carriers that do business through Firelight as well um, on there. Uh, and then most of the insurance companies, we use iGo. Both of these can be located on our website, so you can have seamless uh, interaction with submitting an application. Uh, you do have to register for Firelight, and I'd urge you to do that if you have not just yet, which you can do simply on our website or just by reaching out to us. We'll get you all set up. More and more companies are coming on board with Firelight, as an example, and we already have uh, the majority of them on board with us as it goes from here. So if you'd like to use the uh, save time, get cases processed much quicker. Uh, we had a cash case that I can remember uh, years back in my career that uh, when Firelight first started, that cash case uh, paid out within 24 hours. I mean, it was uh, issued within 24 hours. So this definitely helps and it reduces those not in good order applications significantly. So if you're interested in that, reach out to us or uh, visit the website, click on Firelight underneath the application tool. Going further into the practice, we talked a little bit earlier about branding and a corporate identity package. 
uh, as well as automated emails. We do partner with vendors when it comes to um, areas where they are going to be best suited. As an example, with many prospecting systems, if somebody's been doing that well, we negotiate a relationship with that vendor and spread it uh, across uh, our agent lines here so you get to hear about it. But when it comes to our internal staff and it comes to branding, it comes to uh, digital marketing strategy, social media consulting, making sure that your website uh, search engine optimization. In other words, when someone Googles uh, income planning in Topeka, Kansas, uh, your name comes up first as an example. So we do everything from that to geofencing. Uh, we've had several groups that have been working with, say, a company uh, or an industry that was having a layoff or a transition or a change to their ERISA plan. Uh, one of the things that we're able to do with uh, technology and with our digital solutions team is do a digital fence around areas where they interact. So, for instance, that company office, so that every time they pull up uh, on their phone, their app, uh, Facebook, Google, they're seeing an, an advertisement, as an example, uh, that you're there to help them with that transition uh, into retirement from their current plan to another. So we can help with those type of things. Um, we have experts in that arena. Uh, we also have uh, copywriters on staff, individuals that can write you know, items for you and put together a full digital grip system for your existing clients, uh, all the way down to the simplest business card and logo design. Uh, we've got you covered. These individuals are employed on our team uh, directly with us. They're not consultants from another industry. So the benefit there is we pay them a, a salary to be here, and that's why uh, working with us and producing with us gives, gives you access to these folks because we've got to pay their, their bills too. But uh, by having them on staff as an employee, one, they are focused solely on the financial services field. And that's, I can't stress that enough, being in the retail front in the past in, in visiting communities and practices, uh, visiting a local advertising group doesn't always work out the way you think. If, if they're advertising everything from your local car dealership to the grocery store, sometimes they have to use, they have a little learning curve when it comes to financial services and particularly your particular niche, whether that be retirement planning versus you know, cash accumulation or uh, 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 the wirehouse community. So you become that helping them with the learning curve process in many cases. And at that point, once they create your design, the other downside of an outside advertising team that you won't run into here is those items they develop are typically their property. So if you stop using them as an account, they, uh, they don't have to retain access and give that back to you necessarily. They can also rebrand it and give it to the next financial advisor in your area. So one of the benefits of using our services here, that would not be the case. You retain all rights on anything that we digitally put together. Um, you access it through us via either uh, pay to play, if you will, out of pocket if you're starting out new with us or the production that you write. And we can get those set up and you have an exclusive team that uh, focuses on financial services with multiple uh, advisors and organizations across the country and their expertise. So if you have a question about this, let us know. You can reach out to your primary contact here at IAMS or myself, Justin Ford. We'd be happy to help and, and speak about what we can do next uh, and analyze your practice, see what we can do to help. On our website that I mentioned earlier, uh, we've got uh, several things. We, we have a website that you may have seen when you first started out with IMS that we use more for our advertising and marketing. But our core website, imsinc.com, is put together with the intent of a tool that meant to be a true resource for your practice. I can't stress this enough, working in this will be my third or fourth IMO. Uh, you don't always run into this out there. But on our website, you can simply, you can do anything uh, as simple as running a term insurance quote, as I mentioned before, taking an e-application. But in addition to that, we also have access to every single form uh, with the insurance companies we work with. Enforce forms, as an example, you can download those directly. So if you're on the weekend and you need to get a uh, producer assignment of a relationship form from a carrier, you can do that right off our website. Industry links, links to the hottest, hottest news topics out there as it relates to retirement income planning, annuities, et cetera, and also what's going on with IMS. We also have that annuity grid I mentioned earlier, the calculator and the income uh, analyzer on our website, as well as one for long-term care insurance and life, single premium life especially. And uh, 
finally, in that in our website, if you have it, if you've been out there before and you've registered, which by the way, it's as simple as clicking register if you're licensed with us and setting up your password, uh, take a look at the marketing corner and sales resources section on our site. Um, one of the most un one of the more under visited sections of our site. Uh, we need to highlight that a little bit more because on there, as an example, last week I ran into a case where I had some questions on premium finance or. Uh, oftentimes, I'll get a question in the, in the area of like buy-sell agreements or Section 162 plans when we're doing business planning with a client. And on our website, underneath that sales tool section, you can simply type in what you're looking for and pull up everything from a cheat sheet or a guide uh, from a third party that, uh, that we partner with that puts together information about, for instance, what is a 162 uh, plan and what, uh, what does it accomplish? In a buy-sell agreement, what are the different types of buy-sell agreements? How does one go about it? So information, everything uh, that you can imagine out there uh, on our website and also client appro uh, approved presentation materials in that same section. So take a look at it. Give us a call. Let us know if you have any questions. When it comes to presenting with your clients, uh, nowadays it's kind of hard to avoid software. Uh, those of you that like to use the yellow pad like I do or the whiteboard, will uh, understand the benefits of allowing a client or a prospect to visually see what's going on. A big part of uh, financial services that the challenge is uh, oftentimes either helping with someone with, that has a misunderstanding about a particular product or working with them as you're out there working with them almost like a therapist from a standpoint of discussing something with them that they're now comfortable because they've met you with, but a topic that really has been one that they've been having a hard time grasping or have a lot of unknowns in. Uh, one of the things that can help with that is how you present. Much like the yellow pad or the whiteboard, we have software access to software vendors, for instance, the Retirement Analyzer company that has been put together, the Retirement Analyzer, that has been out there doing this for income planning for retirees for years, and we have access to that through IMS. Essentially, what this allows you to do is take that plan that's in your client's head that they've been thinking about for retirement, where they're going to move, if they're going to move, are the kids moving back in, or they're not, uh, moving in a, a, another family member, buying that final car, selling off a house, using rental income, um, all these things. We can take that plan out of their head through a questionnaire, and you can simply input that into this program, and it will give them a detailed plan showing them, with based on where they're at today, what year in which they may run into a problem, either run out of income or not run out of income and have an estate planning tax, estate tax issue possibly. From there, the client can simply ask for assistance from you and we can integrate the product solutions that my team and I put together here into the program to alleviate that red line. So if you have any questions about that, let us know. In addition to that, before we go on to wealth management, we also have access to work with Stonewood. Stonewood is a company that does something very similar here, but it addresses one simple risk in retirement, which is the risk of taxation. And uh, it's a index universal life uh, tool that will allow you to take a look at the difference in retirement uh, between taxable versus non-taxable income. So let us know if you have any questions on that. We do have a corporate RIA, uh, IMS Wealth Management. We work with many of you on the line, maybe with other investment advisory groups. Whether you're a RIA now, that wants to step away from the, the, uh, the hassle of, uh, of compliance and become an in, uh, investment advisor representative underneath an established uh, RIA. Uh, or if you are looking at getting your 65 because you'd like to pick up more opportunity with clients and stand in from a fiduciary standpoint, we can help. Everything from testing to books and material uh, all the way over to if you're an existing advisor helping you transition those accounts, increase your revenue, improve client retention, get into more wallet share, and build stronger relationships. If you have any questions about IMS Wealth Management, let us know. We have, with the pandemic, also brought back our training academies, uh, two-day training events. We discuss everything from, I think we just wrapped up one last month here with North American, everything from sales ideas all the way through how uh, large case designs are created, examples. Uh, typically partner with a carrier on here, and you walk away with a lot of tools great input from uh, other wealth advisors and other advisors doing insurance. So let us know if you have an interest in this. We'll be getting more dates out, but we want to get a, uh, a running list of those that would be interested in attending a face-to-face -face event this year with us. And our trip. We are uh, 
coming through, we're going to be working on our next trip here, uh, coming to the end of our qualification period. We do an 18-month qualification period versus a 12, which is good for those of you that uh, that are joining us here. you got more time to produce and, and submit business. Uh, our window is ending here coming up June 30th on this particular trip, and we're going to be going to Greenbrier, Greenbrier a great getaway there, and different levels. Uh, you can be within different rankings once you qualify. We're looking at 4 million points, so 4 million of annuity production as an example. And if we have different rankings, so if you rank 1 through 20, you and a guest will spend three bonus days in Washington, D.C. prior to joining the actual group at the Greenbrier, uh, Greenbrier Resort. Uh, if you're in the top three, you and a guest will stay on property in a special, spacious, luxury cottage on that resort. And four through ten uh, place you and uh, you and a guest into an exclusive luxury concierge accommodation standpoint. So if you have any trip uh, questions about the trip or your status, your ranking, let us know today. We'd be happy to help. So before I get over to Tony, just to let you know we're on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, anywhere out there. Uh, if we're not out there, let us know of a site. We'll definitely get ourselves out there. But if you need to reach, just reach out to us, 800-255-5055. So with that being said, I'm going to switch this over to Tony this morning. Tony, are you with us? Sure I am. Yes. Perfect. Let me get you switched over here and uh, get you all ready to go here. Okay. And go so all right perfect i can see you all right okay good so you can see the national western life logo you got it you got it and uh yeah you're good to go um appreciate you joining us today tony tony and i actually uh, i started this industry 20 some years ago and the imo that i joined uh, i met tony who had been working there already and uh, he's already got some, a lot of established time moving on to national western life like many of us did but he drank the same water in topeka kansas that i want there that i do as well so good to have you back bud <laughs> yeah thanks a lot justin and yeah it's uh it's amazing how fast time flies <laughs> so it does uh, yeah. yes pretty green back in those days, but uh, um, appreciate the opportunity to, to be on the call and, and talk about our single premium life product. I know we've got a, a long history with with IMS and uh, a lot of success uh, both ways, I think, um, uh, with with single premium life. And, and uh, you know, I started with National Western Life back in 2008, and we had just introduced this product that middle of that year or so is really in its infancy and we did about four million dollars of production on it that year um this year our goal is about 260 million so to just give you an idea of how much it's grown uh we really seems like we have a a record every single year in this product that just continues to grow and, and a lot of that is because of our consistency and competitiveness in the marketplace you'll notice a few single premium life products have come and gone um, that have uh, you know been competitive with ours you know plus or minus a few different features there's a few things that uh, make products you know uh, excel in certain areas and, and it can be a little niche kind of you know hot spots but we have been the most consistent player in the single premium life uh, area since 2008 when we introduced this product. So um, National Western Life, just a little history there. We uh, began in 1956. And, uh, you know, when I started, we were kind of a, an, a life insurance company that did annuities. And, and we turned into more of an annuity company that did life. And now, of course, our single premium life, we're an industry leader there and have been for over a decade. But A rated on AM Best. Uh, and if anybody's familiar with the alert score, um, A L I R T, we actually have the highest alert score in the industry for insurance carriers. So very strongly rated, very conservative. The big deal about the alert score is uh, obviously banks and wirehouses and, and broker dealers really look at those uh, alert statistics. Uh, the thing that differs them from, from S&P and AM best ratings is they're not so concerned uh, about it, how much money you have. They're more concerned about how you're invested and what you're doing with your money. So uh, obviously we've been very conservative uh, uh, and family owned by the Moody family since our inception. We are publicly traded on the NASDAQ, however. So a little history there, strong ratings and, and very conservative. So 
without further ado, the lifetime return select. So, um, you know, a lot of single premium products in the marketplace are whole life. Ours is universal life. It adds to the flexibility of the product with free withdrawals and, and loan capabilities, much like traditional universal life that way. Um, and of course it is indexed as well. So there is some potential growth opportunity within the product. Certainly not the, uh, you know, the primary reason you would go into this product would be for growth, but I am going to hit on the growth potential a little bit. So it's not one of those just set and forget it type of things. It can certainly grow and your death benefit can grow as well. But uh, it's simplified issue. It's all done point of sale. We'll talk about the riders for chronic illness as well as return of premium. And of course, I mentioned free partial surrenders referring to 10% free withdrawals available starting in the second year. So here's the, the specs on it. I would say the sweet spot for us is really about 65 to 75 that's where i would say 80 percent of our production comes maybe even into the 78 range somewhere in there um and of course you know through the simplified issue process uh as you get older it does get um a little bit tougher to qualify but we certainly have you know plenty of business with the with the 80 plus crowd uh the minimum face amount 25,000. now you'll see the maximum net amount at risk so there is really no maximum premium it's it's all based on net amount at risk, which is another way of saying pure insurance. So it's the difference between the death benefit and the premium. So if you subtract those two, that's really your insurance, your pure insurance amount, and that's what we max on. And the 76 plus, we are working on boosting that back up to 200,000 um, prior to COVID. That's what it was. That was really the only underwriting change that we made on the product was the 76 plus uh, currently still at 100 but again just got off a call actually last week uh where it is the wheels are in motion on getting that uh bumped back up and the software will self-govern that as well so if you want to see how much you can put in you know just put in a real high amount and it'll actually lower it to what the maximum net amount of risk would be so again potential for growth it is indexed I want to show you this is available on our website this is actually our interest credited on the product um, you'll see a lot of different dates those are different renewals and actually different product versions um, on the lower rates but there's option a which is monthly average option d that shows you the cap rate along with the actual credited rate which is our monthly point to point currently at a three percent monthly cap option j is our annual point to point these are all based on the s p 500 uh, and that shows you the actual credit there on the right. I would steer you away from option A right now, the monthly average, uh, again, with the volatility and everything that uh, has kind of come about the last couple of years, our option A has really taken a hit, um, <clears throat> which the lion's share seems to be going into the annual point to point anyway. There's a 9% cap on that right now, but you'll see some really strong returns, especially in the option D area, which is the monthly point to point. So. Um, it's kind of feast or famine though on that it seems like so it is a little willy-nilly but um, i mean there's some returns upwards almost 30 percent in there so i caution though um to again lead with that because there are you know life insurance costs associated with this product so it's not you know at its core an accumulation product but i think it's important to note that it is you know uh certainly capable of increasing your death benefit over time and it'll illustrate that way as well uh but um you know there is a, a premium load in the first year you have your mortality and administrative costs um every year and we actually have a page in the illustration that'll show you a breakdown of those costs associated with this product so keep in mind it is you know life insurance and life insurance cost oriented so if accumulation is is a real high point of emphasis this is certainly not <clears throat> going to be the best option. This is a legacy planning tool with living benefits. Hit on these already. Again, monthly average, I would stay away from 3% cap on the monthly point to point and nine on the annual. But one thing um, that is important to note here as well are the index dates. So there's only four for the year. So, um, it, and I get this question a lot. So I want to go ahead and hit on it is, 
the index dates aren't going to line up with the anniversary dates. And I mentioned the premium load in the first year, which is 8%. So um, <clears throat> you're going to see a fall off in the first year, which is going to be a little bit more dramatic than any other year because of that first year premium load. So when you get your or your client receives their index or their uh, policy anniversary statement, it's not going to have accredited interest rate yet because let's pretend, you know, um, that we're going into it today in June, it's actually not going to index until July 10th. So we'll have a prorated amount of interest. The fixed account right now is at 3.2. So it'll be prorated during that time period. So um, it just, I want to caution against statement shock on that first statement because uh, it actually won't have a true balance until that July 10th indexed renewal date. And that's available online. So they won't receive another follow-up on that statement but they can view their account balance online at any time but it's just important to note that when you when you receive you know your first year statement don't be don't be alarmed because it hasn't actually credited interest yet and there's those are the four actual index dates all right included benefits and riders so huge selling point uh, points of the product here the accelerated death benefit rider for terminal illness almost all the policies have this on there it's a it's a great feature um it um is certainly not a replacement for any sort of you know uh long-term care policies or other supplemental forms that they may have um but uh, it's a great addition too because you know as you're starting obviously to get up in age and age and the failure to plan starts to you know set in uh and just the cost of of long-term care insurance and and obviously the uh you know how hard it is to even qualify for it this doesn't change the underwriting at all with the accelerated death benefit rider so it there is a cost obviously associated with it and that's lined out in our illustration software as well uh, it's not a, it's just a flat premium fee um, that'll come out before it's issued and it'll tell you what that cost is and that'll vary by age and uh gender but the qualifications two is six adls and 90 days of care so that's uh you know i mentioned there's a few different things that will vary based on single premium products and, and it's really in the fine print that that things are different so care not um uh, not where you actually have to go in to to a facility, right? So you don't have to be in a nursing home. You don't have to be in any sort of care. Confinement is the word I'm looking for. So it uh, is just any type of professional care will actually qualify. Adult daycare uh, just has to be, again, professional care. So very flexible that way. And it'll pay out 2% of the death benefit a month or 24% annually, depending upon how they'd like to receive that. And um, um that is based on the actual death benefit amount and um, there is there could be a difference because you'll have your initial face amount uh, and the death benefit again will vary based on uh on your actual index value so um but 24 percent annually two percent a month it'll pay out about 3.75 years so just under four years because it'll leave a twelve thousand five hundred dollar benefit there uh, that's when it'll shut off and uh, that does a couple of things first of all that keeps the benefit tax free so it doesn't lapse the policy and then secondly it provides kind of a final expense uh, type of plan still in force there if uh, again the longevity uh, in that payment lasts paid up rider that has to do with the loan features uh, over 75 um, don't really discuss this that much you know the the loan with the return of premium feature on this the loan provisions really don't come up and there's not really any sort of advanced type of planning with this product i mean it's more legacy planning wealth transfer that's certainly what i advise if some people will try to get cute on the younger ages for college planning but you know with the simplified issue nature of the product um and um you know the wealth kind of at its core the wealth transfer pricing I, you know, I'm not going to say I don't advise it. I'm not, I'm not saying it's not a good fit for some situations, but that's where the paid up rider would come into play uh, over age 75, where it won't lapse the policy on outstanding loans. And there you have it right there. Policy has been in effect for at least 15 years and insurance is at least 75.
and there's more explanation on that if, if again it comes into one of those kind of little uh, areas where that could come into play but again pretty rare uh, the return of premium so this is built in this actually isn't a writer it's already built into the product and it is what it what exactly what it says it's a money back guarantee at any time um, the one thing to keep in mind for uh, agents is that there is a three-year chargeback on return of premiums so again this is a peace of mind tool uh, certainly not a lead-off benefit but when you start talking about repositioning of assets and savings based type of insurance which is what this is the money back guarantee or return of premium uh, is certainly a nice nice uh, peace of mind option to have I mentioned three-year chargeback so it's a full chargeback for the first year but then it'll go down it's 75 percent in year two 50 percent in year three so I talked about the semantics and some of the just subtle differences between products I would definitely read the the fine print on the return of premium rules uh per single premium product some of them there is a waiting period for the client some of them it's a full chargeback for two years some it's a full chargeback for three years uh, but ours is a declining 100 percent 75 50. and one idea that uh, i always advise on this return of premium is to split up policies so there is a max net amount at risk and that's per client not per policy so you still have to follow the net amount at risk guidelines but um, in my discussions i've worked with this product for 14 years and i would say you know almost all honestly I, i'm trying to think of one where this didn't come up where you know there was an emergency they didn't need all of their money but the return of premium rider is only in play for full surrenders not partials so if it's over 10 percent and they need access for whatever potential you know emergency or cost that they that they had uh they it behooves them to, to cash the whole thing out because they don't want to pay surrender charges on that when i can just return a premium premium it so uh like for instance if i've got a hundred and fifty thousand dollar premium i might split that up into three smaller cases maybe fifty thousand a piece so now if if there is an emergency or a cost that comes into play I don't have to cash out the full 150 i can cash out one of the smaller policies and it gives the client more flexibility as well for the benefits that that they're looking for right so now the agent doesn't have a, a full chargeback and the client gets to keep the benefits and the product in play for the most part so it's just a way to hedge your bets a little bit um it's also available on firelight you know that justin hit on earlier I always advise that um, you know, especially with the with the uh, instant approval on this product and then fire light it uh, through the uh, e app, you know, you can get the thing approved and coded into the system in a matter of minutes where now it's in good order. Um, and less hands touching it, of course, and now we're just waiting on the money and, and issue the policy. So it just speeds things up. But there's a way in Firelight <clears throat> to save, <clears throat> excuse me, to save the application. So now you're not writing multiple applications either if you do follow you know this uh, chargeback protection formula as i call it um you know you can save the app and then just go ahead and and the underwriting process is still just one time so you don't have multiple apps multiple uh underwriting processes so it's it's pretty simplistic that way uh and again a good way to hedge your bets for return of premium protection we did hit on the accelerated benefit rider but uh, there's the the details of it so that's another thing too is you know total benefit cannot exceed five hundred thousand. so um another great way to to hedge your protections on that if you do have an extremely large case um that is per policy not per client so it's a great way you know to to ensure that you don't cap out if you have let's say uh you know an eight hundred thousand dollar death benefit um set up you know multiple cases on that so that way you don't max out at 500,000 on one policy so there's a few different benefits to setting up different policies on that but uh, again uh, home, home care or facility care read the fine print make sure it's not confinement because uh, uh, especially nursing home confinement but uh, uh, yeah great benefit great uh, add-on and it turns it into a to a live die quit you're going to use this thing no matter what uh so it's not just a benefit for my heirs um you know it's a benefit for me too possibly and this shows you 
right here, uh, you know, some some numbers. Um, in California, it's it's a little bit different. It's a two percent uh, monthly benefit. You don't have the actual twenty four percent option. I think um, we still try to work it that way, but sometimes it doesn't work depending on even the county in California. But uh, there is a terminal illness benefit that's standard on the policy as well, 75% of the face amount. 10% free withdrawals starting in the second year. That'll change your death benefit pro rata. Um, and then here's your surrender charges. Um, again, this will only come into play on partial surrenders over 10% and um, is easily, easily avoidable through the return of premium. And again, staggering out your cases uh, to, into smaller ones to, to help protect yourself there. All right, so the underwriting. Pre-screen questions, also known as knockout questions. So there's 12 of them <coughs> on the application. Uh, that's going to be your starting point. So you want to review those, make sure they can answer no to those before moving on. If they do answer yes to any of those questions, then it's an automatic no-go from there out. There isn't any, you, you have, you know, you can't answer yes to more than one. It's it's just a, it's a knockout right away. It's standard through table five. So, you know, they're pretty substantial issues there. Um, but uh, if you can get through those pre pre screen questions, moving on to the health interview. So the health interview takes about 10 minutes. You can do that right with your client point of sale. Uh, as soon as you get through those knockout questions, there's a couple of um, privacy forms and, and authorization forms to, that allows the underwriter to access their MIB uh, as well as their script, telescripts and and uh, and uh, their uh, motor vehicle report, those kind of things. But there's never an APS. Um, there's never a pyramid, anything like that. And uh, the one thing I would advise, though, is they're going to do that script check. So I would, uh, and I hope speed up the process this way as well, is to make sure the client has their, their prescriptions out because they are going to run through those sometimes. And, you know, I just remember my grandparents are, you know, would have almost like a little tackle box thing where, you know, it says Monday and, you know, they take, you know, whatever's in there. And so it's good to have the bottles out so they know what they're taking, how much they're taking of it, and then, of course, why they're taking it. So, um, and they're really going to work off that script check more than anything. Uh, I think that lines out kind of their medical history for the most part in terms of, of what they're taking and and why. So uh, they can pretty much get the answers to those questions, but uh, there's a cognitive aspect to it as well. And then also, real quick, on the inter, uh, you know, we hit on the knockout questions and we hit on the, the interview, but there is a height and weight requirement on this. And again, it's extremely liberal. So you're going to know uh, visually that uh, we may have one, you know, that we need to get checked. They don't release that height weight chart, but you can call us and we can tell you, yes, they're fine or no, they're not fine. But uh, it is something that you need to check with us on if you think you have somebody that may be on the fence there a little short for their weight. But again, um, it should be a, a non-issue in terms of, there's, you know, it's very liberal, which means that there's going to be an obesity factor there that uh, you should know uh, pretty obviously that, uh, you know, they're going to be okay or not. But uh, uh, that has come up on a decline before where, you know, we just kind of overlook that, you know, it's not something that's on the restrictions, but keep that in mind. So again, it's a legacy planning tool and product. We've got a couple of uh, sample studies here, and um, this shows you just a 65-year-old male leverages legacy. He's got a bunch of old stocks that he's planning on leaving on. And again, we know how some of these uh, these older assets, you know, people get stuck in that accumulation phase. And I know even just with comprehensive planners and, and income planners, you know, it's it's hard to get clients to see uh, the difference of mentality and strategy that comes along with accumulation. And then, you know, obviously income planning, but uh, for retirement is, is such a different animal. But then you start talking about protection and passing that money on. Um, that's sometimes a bucket in that comprehensive plan that gets left out as things change. And so, um, you know, some of these older 
um, assets aren't exactly the best to leave on to your heirs. That's where the lifetime return select comes into play because, again, you know, the thing kind of feels like an annuity to a certain extent. You're dealing with larger lump sums of money. Um, the underwriting is, is pretty simplistic. It does have a lot more benefit to it than an annuity just built in with the return of premium and accelerated benefit rider, but also not to forget the major you know benefit of life insurance is the federally income tax-free death benefit. Uh, and at the end of the day, that's really what we're shooting for here. Um, is, is that tax-free transfer to your heirs. So this shows you, kind of lays it out here with, with the tax implications here and, the, and what they could leave on versus a lifetime return select. And again, keep in mind, there's no accelerated benefit rider here, or federal income tax-free death benefit. So it just shows you right here, the guaranteed death benefit at 219 versus $140,000. So the benefit is is huge and, and it helps to lay that out, I think too. So we actually see the numbers in the actual legacy value of just again, savings-based insurance, just a simple transfer of assets from one place that you know they don't have any plans for, they don't need it, they just wanna leave it on to their heirs and they probably are unaware that something like this may even exist. And a lot of times, too, that extra question, I've, I've had some of our top agents tell me that, that, you know, I'll work with these clients and, you know, we're all done pretty much. And and um, all of a sudden, they'll start talking about the money they have, you know, in a CD or in a bank or wherever it's at. But it's, I don't want to talk, you know, I've, I've got plans for that money, so I just want to leave it there. And Well, what's your plan? You know, what other assets do you have? Uh, planned for to, to leave on to your heirs because a lot of times you, you know they need to, a little bit of prodding there because they don't want to talk about that money already got plans for it and so it's you know it can be a, a really beneficial extra question to, to find those underlying assets so uh, and again the CD owner 65,000 sitting in the bank just shows you the benefits of the select of course and here's the actual value of moving it, the accelerated benefits, the death benefit, again, all income or federally income tax-free. The split ticket idea is one that I really like. So this is one where um, it really illustrates a way to open up more assets, meaning you don't need $100,000 to leave $100,000, right? He only needs 50, in this particular 65-year-old example, he only needs about $60,000 to leave $100,000. So that gives him 40,000 plus to do whatever he wants. If, if he needs more income for his retirement, if he wants to buy a boat or do, you know, travel, put an addition onto the house, whatever it may be, but it, it just opens that cash up for them. And not only do they now have an extra $40,000 and they can still leave a hundred, but it makes it again, federal income tax-free access for potential healthcare needs in the future. And I can get that 60 grand back anytime I want. So it's not like it's it's locked up or anything like that. So, or if they want to maximize their death benefit, now instead of leaving a hundred that's sitting in a CD or some old stocks, I can I can boost it for a, for a tax-free death benefit of an extra $67,500. So it can open up remaining cash or it can maximize what you're doing. But the point of it is, is you don't need a hundred thousand dollars to leave a hundred thousand dollars, which is really powerful. Um, and uh, again, there could be income shortages. There could be a, a number of things, but, uh, uh, but it does provide you more flexibility that way uh, and, uh, and more benefit. So, um, but just, I don't know if we have time for questions um, or not, but um, I've come to the end here. Well, I, I appreciate that, Tony. I'm certain that we certainly will have some, and uh, we have the ability on here to, if you've typed in uh, any questions that you may have, they'll come to a printout for us, and I'll share that with you as well, Tony. Um, I do have some questions, though, via um, a poll that we're going to launch. Uh, those of you that are familiar with our web webinars here, we're going to take a couple seconds here to have you answer some polling questions, and that'll help us navigate uh, what you're looking for and how we can best help. Uh, but thank you for your time, Tony. I appreciate that. A couple of things in there. I've got a case, actually, I need to talk to you about. Uh, 
when we're done here, I'll shoot you an email with it, but appreciate you okay. going do that here, bud. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, and then uh, if, as we reach back around or reach around to y'all and I'll get you that list, Tony, um, we'll provide you access to uh, Tony's information as well or through our team too. And uh, I'm going to start with the first polling question here for everybody. And it, uh, we're going to be asking you the following. So uh, do you have interest or will you be contracting with National Western Life if you're not already with us? Uh, will you be, would you like a contract with National Western Life to access that material? And as uh, we're collecting responses here, we'll give it about, about 60 seconds here and everybody's getting their information in. And we'll uh, get you the link uh, to approve the National Western Life uh, contracting as well as some of the sales materials that uh, we have access through National Western Life. The case studies Tony mentioned this morning, and uh, in addition to that, Himes uh, single premium life case studies as well. So I appreciate everybody uh, answering that, and we're going to move on to the next one here. Uh, next question is, would you like to, or will you be, uh, do you have interest in signing up for one of our annuity and life academies? Uh, as I've mentioned earlier, uh, with uh, the pandemic kind of changing things around, we had to put those on hold for a little bit. Uh, this year, we open those back up and excited to do so. So as we get more future day or dates coming up, uh, maybe maybe they'll be in our IMS office in the future, possibly, hint, hint, maybe out in the field. Uh, but we are doing the face-to-face -face trainings for annuity and life insurance. If you'd like to attend, rub elbows with other top producers, uh, let us know so, and we can do that. And uh, would, let's see here, let's launch the next one here. Would, uh, after hearing today's presentation, do you have a particular case or client that uh, this prompted you that you'd like to discuss uh, with the director for a case design, uh, whether it be one of the case studies Tony was kind enough to bring to the table there, uh, or a thought? Uh, or a case that you just like to enhance their legacy. Let us know. We can help uh, reach out to you, give you everything you need, and discuss that particular case as we go forward. And our final question here is about IMS Wealth Management. So for those uh, that uh, have interest in exploring further about either getting your 65 or uh, interest in, in uh, joining IMS Wealth Management or just general interest, uh, indicate if you are interested. We'll make sure we get uh, Duncan and one of his staff to reach out to you and get you the information you need, answer any questions you may have, and uh, appreciate your responses on that. So um, have a great week, everybody. Tony, thank you again for your time and uh, appreciate the opportunity to work with you. And if you guys have any questions, we'll be reaching back, and gals, we'll be reaching back around to you here this week. Um, give us a call at 800 255 5055. If you have a question prior to us reaching out, and uh, I'll be talking to you soon, uh, soon, Tony, and appreciate it. I'll get you that list over soon. Have a great day, everybody.